Coinbase has been under fire recently for actually selling their customer data out from a third party. And now there's a movement starting where people are leaving Coinbase and leaving other exchanges. And in this video, not only do I want to share the importance of this movement, but I also want to give a little uh, insight on how we together can use this to pump the price of crypto. So very exciting and you should really stick around to hear this message because it is very important that everyone grasp this. And before we do that, I of course want to remind you that you should go to academy.ivanontech.com and enroll in our Blockchain and Crypto Academy. It's the best place out there to get started with your crypto career. We have over 11,000 students taking our courses. It's a fantastic community where we have live streams, chat rooms, forums, exercises, quizzes, lectures, you name it. We have it over there. We just released our trading course. If you're interested in automated trading, building a trading strategy, it's now live in the academy. So you can join today and get that uh, right away. You can also follow me on Twitter, as you can see on the screen. Uh, I have a Twitter account, also follow me there and we can interact even more. With that being said, we're going to take a look at what happened with Coinbase here. And uh, this is by now old news that Coinbase actually had a third party provider that took all of their customer data and sold it out to marketers and other companies that could use the customer data. And that is really, really, really tragic because not only should our data be private, of course, it's a privacy thing, but these people can especially be targeted if they are early adopters of Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. So really, really sad to see Coinbase make this mistake. I understand that it's probably not intentional, but they should be uh, handling their user data with more seriousness than this. Really not a good move. With that, uh, with that actually coming out there, people have been starting this uh, movement, which is hashtag delete Coinbase. And we can take a look at it on Twitter here. And it really has sparked a lot of debate where people are actually closing down their Coinbase accounts. And uh, this just uh, was a new fuel to the fire here, where uh, people are both tired of Coinbase uh, putting in uh, shit coins into their exchange, into their into their service, and actually pushing these shit coins to new uh, people in the crypto community, newcomers, and uh, people are both tired of that, and now this as well. So a lot of people have deleted their Coinbase account, and you probably know by now that you know the importance of actually storing your own private keys. If you don't store your own private keys then it's not your crypto. You need to store your own private keys. You need to have control over your money. That is the entire point with crypto. But since you're watching this channel, I hope that you already know that. But another important thing that we can all achieve with withdrawing our crypto from exchanges is that we can together pump the price because a lot of exchanges these days don't have all of the Bitcoin, all of the Ethereum, all of the cryptocurrencies that their customer actually think they have. And it's just like a fractional reserve banking where banks don't hold all of the money that their customers actually lend. They have, uh, they just create money out of thin air because not all customers take their money out of the bank. A lot of them just simply has it in the bank and then the bank doesn't have to have all of that backing. They can have a part of that, a fraction of that backed up by real money and the same thing is true for crypto exchanges and these are unregulated exchanges so they can do pretty much whatever they want so a lot of people now start to believe that exchanges don't really have the full amount of crypto that their customers actually has in their account to be some of those together so the the act what will happen when a lot of customers then start to withdraw their crypto close their accounts is that uh, Coinbase now actually and other exchanges, I don't know specifically about Coinbase, uh, they might have the full backing of crypto, I'm not sure. But in general, exchanges, if people start to withdraw crypto from exchanges, then exchanges actually need to start buying crypto in order to have backing for all of the other customers that are still left on the exchange. And that will lead to more buying pressure for crypto, it will lead to you actually taking control of your private keys, which is incredibly important. So all of this is good news. So if you haven't already, make sure to go into your exchange, withdraw your crypto, close your account if you don't need it anymore. 
maybe you need it to exchange fiat for crypto or whatever but then just use it for that and directly transfer your crypto from the exchange to your own hardware wallet very important remember to do that and also remember to like this video get subscribed hit that bell button so you don't miss the next video and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video